Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. By simply following five simple steps, Michigan hospitals have been able to virtually eliminate infections related to central line catheters, according to research published in the British Medical Journal. Here's some information about hospital-acquired infections. They are a major problem in both the developing and developed world, affecting an estimated 8.7% of hospitalized patients overall. They are a major cause of death among hospitalized patients worldwide. At any given time, about 1.4 million people worldwide are suffering from problems related to infections they acquired while in hospital. Researchers from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore followed infection rates of more than 100 Michigan-based intensive care units after they instituted a five-item checklist system developed at Hopkins for the placement of a central line catheter which threads through a vein to reach into or near the heart. The five steps are wash hands, wash patient's skin with an antimicrobial solution, wear a mask, hat, gown, and gloves, cover the patient in sterile drapes, avoid placing the catheter in the groin area, and remove it as soon as possible, even if it may need to be replaced in the future. Before instituting this simple checklist, about three central line infections occurred for every 1,000 hours that patients were attached to one of these catheters. 18 months after instituting the checklist system, infection rates were virtually zero, and they remain virtually zero for up to three years in all participating institutions. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Peter Pronovost, the principal investigator of this study, who offered some further insight. I've created a checklist for you so that what you can use when you go get into the hospital and protect yourself from these infections. Now, what kind of patients might get these infections? Well, typically it's patients who might have a large surgery, cancer patients, patients who are going to go to the intensive care unit, or patients who may need dialysis in the hospital. The checklist is ask your hospital to tell you what the rates of its bloodstream infections are. They ought to know those and they ought to be exceedingly low. Ask if they're using our checklist, that that intervention virtually eliminated these infections and they ought to, you ought to make sure that they're doing what the best evidence is. Ask if they're participating in this national effort on the cusp, stop bloodstream infections to eliminate these infections. This is a national effort that's seeking to take what we did in Michigan and put it state by state across the U.S. Yet in many states, only 20% of hospitals are participating. And some say that they're using the checklist, but their infection rates are high, and every hospital ought to be participating in this. Ask every day whether you still need this central catheter or really any catheter that you have. If you don't need it or if the risks exceed the benefit, it ought to be removed. And then finally, ask anyone who enters your room if they've washed their hands, especially if you haven't seen them do so. Now, these are some simple strategies that you could use if you're hospitalized to help you protect yourself so that you don't get one of these infections, one of these infections that kill up to 60,000 people a year needlessly. If you'd like to learn more about some of this work, you may want to uh, be interested in my new book, Safe Patients, Smart Hospitals, that's going to be published February 18th. Today's research demonstrates how carefully followed infection control steps, which are simple and inexpensive, can drastically reduce hospital infection rates. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.